Chip maker Advanced Micro Devices showed off its latest processors and graphics cards recently at CES. And joining me to talk about all the latest products is Robert Halleck. He's AMD's Director of Technical Marketing. So Robert, I think you made a lot of gamers very happy uh, with all these announcements, but can you give us a general overview of some of the products AMD rolled out at CES? Uh, it kind of comes in three categories. The first one is a new laptop chip that we're bringing into the market called AMD Ryzen 6000 series. And that will create laptops anywhere from ultra thin, highly portable, up to gaming notebooks. So kind of a notebook for everyone. The next is a, a new gaming CPU called the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. It's the fastest gaming CPU in the world, uh, a crown we've held before and are holding again. And then last but not least, we gave a, a small preview of our next generation desktop chips called the Ryzen 7000 series on a new motherboard and new CPU socket called AM5. Yeah, and tell us about some of the features because you have uh, some interesting tech that is being integrated into these processors and graphics cards. Yeah, so on the mobile side, I think that's going to be the market with the biggest impact for us. We've completely overhauled those CPUs versus what we were offering last year. So uh, a customer walking into a store buying a Ryzen 6000 series CPU or notebook uh, can have access to all the latest and greatest technologies uh, in 2022. So things like a USB 4, which is brand new this year, uh, extremely low power systems with uh, very high performance power management, so up to 24 hours of battery life. Um, we've managed to reduce power consumption on things like Netflix video playback by 40% versus last year. So just designed to give people a ton of extra performance, much longer battery life, and that's what I suppose everybody wants from a laptop. Yeah, because I, I I saw a presentation you gave a few years ago, and and when the Ryzen chips first came out, you know the the promise was that it was going to revolutionize uh, the industry. And can you talk a little bit about how the Ryzen six thousand kind of elevates that and takes it to the next level? I, I think what customers are always looking for is uh, a consolidated device that can do sort of everything, so they don't need that camera over there or that tablet over there, just one thing. And we were really focused on that. So one of the big innovations in this cycle is the addition of USB 4. We know people are increasingly using their laptop as the one computing device in their home. So they wanna plug it into a dock or a monitor or external graphics cards. And so we now offer USB 4 technology in these products up to 40 gigabits per second which will allow you with that one USB-C cable, thin, tiny cable to plug in virtually anything at speed. And it can be a desktop class experience just running from a notebook. We're very, very proud of that. Yeah, and you know, uh, the interesting thing too is uh, we've seen how security has really emerged uh, as Absolutely. important as we've moved to a more uh, online virtual world. But can you talk a little bit about the security features of this uh, new processor? That's a great point. Uh, we are the first x86 or the first sort of Windows based processor to offer a technology called Microsoft Pluton. And that is an actual CPU that does security inside our Ryzen 6000 series CPU. So as customers move to Windows 11, there's all sorts of new security requirements that prevent a ton of uh, attack vectors that are becoming more common in our industry. But Pluton is that last little bit uh, helping people as they move their data and their services into the cloud. It provides a layer of security at that level that is in the device itself, in the laptop itself. And so we're the first and only with, uh, with Pluton in the Windows ecosystem right now. And uh, that's one of many new security features in the chip. Yeah, and I, you know, investors have really been looking at the chip sector, you know, over the last few years, it's been an enormous sector of growth. And how would you say your chip stacks up to competitors like NVIDIA and Intel, which also released new products this week? Yeah, so, uh, you know, testing is ongoing, but uh, one thing I'm really excited about is I think we've got uh, battery life in the bag for, for Windows buyers, uh, people going out for a laptop. I, I think they will get the best battery life on AMD. Uh, if people want to play games or do anything graphics related, I really think AMD, what we've done with our new graphics core inside the Ryzen 6000 series sets the bar. Uh, we are two or three times faster than any other equivalent graphics chip in that space. And then in overall performance, uh, people are going to get a really great experience. It's an eight core CPU, 
very high performance, long battery life. And that's, I think that all of that, the, the combination is what sets AMD apart. You can have it all from, from AMD. Yeah, and can you talk a little bit about that growth? Because you know you mentioned gaming, and we also have the metaverse out there now. Yeah. Uh, that's creating a lot of buzz. And you know what potential is there for growth in that kind of PC market that you see in the next few years? Well, one of the trends that we've seen uh, is it's an unprecedented buying cycle for for notebooks in particular. People used to rely on desktops at work. And many people work from home now, uh, either long term or perhaps permanently. And so that has stimulated a wave of new laptop sales, unlike anything we've ever seen in the history of, of computers. Um, I, we, we see that, that continuing, people continuing to upgrade uh, as the, the new state of things uh, continues. Uh, we also see people uh, continuously adopting desktop PCs for gaming. That is a growth sector for us as well. And that industry has its ups and downs, but uh, people see that desktop computers are the best gaming experience out there. Um, and so the combination of those two things and the kind of IP and innovation AMD brings to the table puts us in a really great spot to take advantage of those growth trends in the market, uh, lead those growth trends in the market. Yeah, and when can consumers expect these products to be rolled out? And you know, how much are these chips uh, looking to cost them? Okay, so starting with notebooks, those uh, the, with the Ryzen 6000 series, those will be available starting in February. Uh, but that industry moves in a couple big beats. So right around CES, January, February, March is beat one. Uh, graduation, Father's Day season is B2, and then back to school and holiday of 2022 is B3. You'll see big waves for notebooks all along those three beats. Uh, for our 5800X 3D, that fastest gaming CPU, that's going to be the spring of 22. And our next generation desktop gaming chips are the second half of 2022, and we'll provide a lot more detail as the months go on. Well, Robert, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks very much. Appreciate the time. And you can follow all of our CES coverage over at investors.com. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alexis Garcia. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.